Thank you so much, Ben, for giving us an overview of how to generate reports on the MileIQ web dashboard. Now we're going to dive deeper into MileIQ reports by using a number of different criteria to create truly customized reports from the drives view. There are two key steps to creating customized reports. One is defining the criteria for your reports and you'll see the different types of criteria here and we will go over each of those separately before once again giving you a uh, view of the report creation window especially as it pertains to sending your reports over to a tax professional accountant uh, or anyone else that you would like to send your mileage to. We'll also go over the emails that MileIQ uh, automatically sends to you on a weekly, monthly, and annual basis that contain uh, some of your drive reports information. So let's get to it. Here we are in the MileIQ drives view in the web dashboard. This page might be familiar to you if you go onto the web dashboard to make changes to your drives. Uh, including changing classifications or adding notes or vehicles or other items to your drives. But did you know that you can also use this view to generate customized reports? So once again, we are going to go over each of the different criteria separately for uh, how to generate a report without actually generating a report for each of those. Uh, just for brevity's sake, we're just going to go through each of those. And then in the end, we will generate a report so you can see the report creation window. So let's get to it. The first thing to do when generating report is choosing your date range. You'll do that using this date dropdown right here. If you click, you'll see this menu here. At the top are five different uh, shortcuts that you can use for choosing a date range. So you can use this current month, the last month, the last three months will show you the last full three months. So in this case, since we are in March 2018, it shows December, January, and February for that. You can also do year to date, which will do uh, all the way from the first of this year to today, and then also last year, which will be the entire year. Now, if you want to do a custom date range, what you'll do is you'll first choose your uh, start date. So here I'm going to navigate back and I want to choose the 1st of September and then I want to do the 31st of December. So make sure that you click first on the start date and then you navigate to the next month to the to the uh, month where the end date will be and you click on the day there um, so next we will choose the actual um, classifications so for here we have a pie chart that looks like this you can actually click on the parts of the pie chart and it will choose personal for this or business for this or you can also click on these links so you can choose business here or personal here and then it will filter those dates here um, the next thing are tiles so let's say I wanted to choose uh, just drives that are between offices so I can click right here actually I'm going to deselect everything and then let's say I wanted to click only between offices so I only want those uh, drives to show up and it will filter to just those drives. Now let's say I also wanted to include meal, entertain, and air and supplies. So when I click on those tiles, it will include those and you see here that more drives are included here. Uh, so I'm going to clear all my filters by clicking this button here and this will now give me, uh, this will clear the uh, classification filters so now I have all this but I also want to choose a different date range so I'm going to choose the last three months for example um, so the other tool that we have is searching so with a search here you can do several types of searches so you can search by a location meaning a neighborhood or your own saved name locations and also by vehicle so let's say that I choose here uh, a um, I wanted to choose uh, to search for one of my 
name locations, and that is the Museum of Art. So type in here, Museum, Dallas Museum of Art. So it will now show me all the drives that I have taken that have Dallas Museum of Art as one of my named locations. And um, let's say I wanted to choose instead a route. So let's say I wanted to do um, from home, home to office. So now it has uh, given me those drives here. Uh, and finally, I can also search by vehicle. So here I actually have a suggestion and um, I can just do work car and it will show me all the drives that have work car. So to um, uh, uh, kind of see that you can see here and this drive has a work car. Now some of my drives I actually did not assign vehicles to them. So I can use this second drop down over here, all drives, and I can click on without vehicles. And this now shows me these drives right here, I actually did not assign vehicles to them. So I can go in here and you see no vehicle selected. I can click on that and I can do work car and boom, that will now save with that vehicle. Now that I have shown you the different ways that you can use criteria to filter your drives for a customized report, let's create one from start to finish. So the first step that I'll do is I'll click on the date dropdown and I'm going to choose the last three full months for my date range. Now here I want to only include business drives in my report. So I will click on business right here. And I only want drives that are between offices, meal entertain and errand supplies and customer visit. So I'm going to filter out business no purpose, meeting, and clients. I only want drives that are to or from the Dallas Museum of Art. So I will click on there. And in addition, I also only want drives that have a particular note in them that is invoice 24195. So here I'm going to type in invoice 24195. And now I have these drives here. I'm ready to create the report now. I'm going to click on this checkbox right here, nine matching drives, and that selects all the drives. Over here on the right, I see a report button. I click on this report button and the report creation window appears. The only thing required here is a report name. So I'm going to do business. And I want to send this report also to my tax professional. So I am going to put in here her email address. Everything else will be the same. Now this uh, button right here, mark as reported. If I want to flag these drives that I have already reported these drives so that in the future I don't need to report these drives again, then I can mark this button. So I'm actually going to leave that marked and then do create report. A report will now generate in the reports view and it will also be sent to my email. Now that the report has been created, I can now open the report directly from the archived reports using the CSV or PDF button, or can, I can also look at the email that was sent and view them there as well. This is what a report email looks like. It has a PDF link and it has a CSV link. Keep in mind that these links expire after 45 days this is done to protect the security and privacy of your reports as you do not need to log in to view these reports once you have the link. So uh, please either save the PDF CSV files or regenerate the reports after you have, uh, after 45 days have passed. Now, if you did not, uh, 
designate a uh, person to send the report to in the report creation window. You can also simply forward that uh, e this email message to whoever you want to send the report. This is another way that you can share your mileage report with a tax professional or with an employer or with anyone else that you would like to send your mileage to. In addition to the emails that are sent every time you generate a report with MileIQ mobile app or web dashboard, by default MileIQ also sends you on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis a summary report of your drives for that time period. Here's one such example of a weekly mileage report. This report may not be as thorough as the reports that you generate yourself because it might include drives that are not been classified yet, and it encourages you to, to classify those drives and generate a report so you can see the PDF and CSV of your drives.